Okay, what I've done is I've brought you underneath the car here. It's easy to see the uh, cam pulley and the mark for the uh, top dead center mark on that cam pulley. So what you can do, like I showed you, um, is you can print out one of these timing tape in order to make your marks. So we know that um, I spun the engine counterclockwise to get this mark down to the bottom. So I know we're before top dead center because we already checked to make sure what top dead center was. Um, and so since I spun it counterclockwise, we're now before top dead center because the engine spins in a clockwise motion. So we are about uh, 110 maybe degrees before top dead center right now. Um, what I have here is this timing tape, and you can print these out online. I'll, send, I'll leave you the link in the description. And this pulley is seven and three quarter inches in diameter. So once you know the diameter, the program will allow you to print these out to scale so that your timing marks will be on. So you, you just take the zero mark here on this piece of paper and you line up the zero mark with the white indent mark on the pulley make sure it's right in the center and then what you can do is you can just tape this down so I'll just grab a piece of tape and tape that down there grab another piece of tape and tape it up at the top so now your zero mark is here and if you're going in a clockwise direction from that zero mark you're gonna start marking things off before top dead center marks so if you align say I made a mark here at 10 degrees with my um, sharpie and I were to rotate that mark up so that it lines up with the markings on the front of the engine at that zero, what would be the zero mark, then we would know we were at 10 degrees prior to top dead center at that mark. So I'm going to make a mark at 8 here. So 5, 6, 7, 8. I'll make a mark at 8. And then what Jeff has said. Um, in returning my distributor is that the static timing or not the static timing but this timing at idle should be set to between 14 and 16 degrees before top dead center at idle so I'm gonna make a mark at 15 so I got a mark at 8 to set the static timing and a mark at 15 to set the timing at idle right in the middle of Jeff's recommendation 14 to 16 so okay now I get those two marks and I'll just um, I'll make them uh, a little bit more thick now I can take the paper off here and I can use my thicker sharpie and make them so they stand out and I can see them under the timing light I got this line here. Eight. There you go. So that's eight. So zero, eight, and fifteen degrees. So what I'll do is I'll use those in conjunction with my timing light. And then um, I will know where to, um, how to, which one is the right one. So I'm going to put a little arrow on the 15 one so it makes it easier to see 
as the engines are rotating.